Hey, sports fans. Thanks for joining me over at Sports Talk with ELA. That's me, Erica Lindsay Ayala. This is a YouTube channel that is dedicated to reimagining the 96% of sports media that unfortunately does not cover women in sport. Today, I'm going to be talking about an NWHL partnership with an NWSL rookie, Ziara King. It was announced just today that NWSL star Ziara King has collaborated with the NWHL on a t-shirt design. Now, let me give you a little bit of background how this came up. First of all, Ziara King, you need to follow her. I was just amazed. You want to talk about Team More Melanin. You want to talk about hashtag Team For The Culture. Ziara King came with it, hunty. Ziara King, Soraya Tinker, meeting on Twitter. It was amazing. Here are the tweets for you. And they were talking about something that I definitely resonate with. Now, the NWHL, the National Women's Hockey League, has had the silhouettes of a hockey player with a, a ponytail coming out of the helmet. And I never really resonated with that because, well, my hair is super short right now, but I have curls. I have textured a, a textured tress. And so that never represented me. And so Soroya and Ziera were talking about that online. Also, Ziara King is a Metropolitan Riveters fan. Now, I don't want to say Auntie had anything to do with that, but I'm not saying I didn't either. Y'all can make up your mind. Anyway, back to the breaking news. So since that exchange, um, and also I've had conversations with people in the NWHL about some of those things, we get the announcement of this partnership. So here's what we get. I'm going to read directly from the statement. Since then, a soccer hockey crossover was formed. I love a good crossover. I love a good crossover. I love a good crossover. Can't get enough. Anyway, King shared her time and talent with the NWHL, collaborating on a few additional designs for the line of t-shirts that addressed her call for more representation. The new designs, created by the league marketing director, Ksenia Seliman, shout out to Ksenia, uh, in conjunction with King as a special consultant, are available beginning today online. So for the Buffalo Buttes, for the Connecticut Whale, for the Metropolitan Riveters, Sierra's favorite team, and for the Minnesota Whitecaps, you can find that on the nwhl.zone shop. For the Toronto Six, the new expansion team, and for the Boston Pride, they now both have separate shops. You can find the design on the separate shops. There's a, a, a nice curly puff. There's a nice braid. Like, we all have different styles. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's see it. Here's what Zier King said in the press release. I appreciate the NWHL for listening to my concerns and taking action. Representation is such an important part of feeling empowered, especially in a space where many people don't look like you. I challenge the NWHL and the entire sport of hockey to make strides towards a more inclusive environment for all. I'm so glad to have collaborated with the NWHL on these designs and look forward to following the year, the league, excuse me, for many years to come. Like, can we talk about sis out here doing the work? She's doing the work. It's like, yeah, I'm happy to partner with you, but also I challenge you to do better. And I've definitely been in that space. Uh, for anyone who follows the Nine newsletter, you know that I have put out some calls to the women's hockey space in particular to really think about what that next step of, of taking on racism and taking on racism in their particular sport looks like. So we had the NWHLPA put out a statement. That statement is here for you. And we also had the PWHPA put out their own statement. And also I will leave that for you here. What I do want to say is that I'm going to get into both statements a little bit more in an upcoming conversation that I'll have with two athletes. And also just to give you my thoughts, it's definitely a start, but just like Ziara said in this press release, just like I said in the nine newsletter last week, 
we have to continue to push. As the, the saying goes, a luta continua, the struggle continues. And all of us need to continue to learn. I, I think the for the nine, I called it like, get into the classroom. We all need to get into the classroom and really combat racism and, and really strive towards equity and equality together. So lots more coming on all of that. Um, but have a few interviews to do, a little bit more information to get, but then you will find it right here on Sports Talk ELA. And if you're not already, please subscribe. Smash that subscribe button, as all the YouTubers say these days. And the important thing is to turn on the notifications. So when there is a new video, you know. And if you don't want to turn on the notifications, that's fine. Just follow me at elindsay08. That's E-L-I-N-D-S-A-Y. That's on Twitter and Instagram. And you can also follow Sports Talk on Instagram. We are here to reimagine the 96% of media, of sports media, that unfortunately does not cover women in sports spaces. So if that's your jam, you're in the right space. Until next time, Erica Ayala, out.